Hey, you doing okay? You seem upset. I'm not upset. I'm infuriated. Okay, tell me what's wrong. It's that, that insolent belittling mother cockle. What did she do to you? Not to me. She said things to Belle. Which I will not repeat. But Belle was quite hurt. And I will not allow that. Okay, calm down a little. Calm down? She insulted Belle. No time like the present. Let's go confront Mother Gothel. I agree. So, I think we can agree that that didn't go so well. She... She... <sighs> this cannot stand! This will not stand! I demand that something be done. Cool your jets, guy. What?! Seriously. No, we don't do angry revenge here. Well, she gets pleasure out of being cruel. Beast. I will not tolerate someone hurting Belle, nor will I tolerate someone who won't aid me in seeking justice. Leave! No! Alright, I'll give you some space. Thank you. This is very nice. What a pleasure. Well, well, look what the beast that dragged in. <laughs> or did he tell you to leave him alone? I'm certain I heard the sound of a childish tantrum coming from his general direction. Can't he just be cool for once? You sound like my ungrateful daughter, accusing me of being cold. Please, I'm just trying to sort this out. What did it say to Belle to make her upset in the first place? <laughs> Nothing, really. She's just so sensitive. We were discussing... Let's see, that literature, and she was telling me about her favorite fables. <laughs> I merely suggested that we discuss a further what she brought into her horizons. Hmm. Is that really what you said? Yeah. It's summary, yes. What did you say precisely? <laughs> well, I believe that her. No, I I believe I mentioned that her literary interests were. Hmm. What word did I use? Oh, yes. Provincial. Oh, boy. I also may have said that no one would be friends with someone who has such pedestrian taste in, in books. Mother Gothel, that's horrible! Her tastes are horrible, aren't they? Ugh. Never mind. I need to talk to the beast. Tell Bill I'm always here for self-improvement advice. Ta-ta! Ain't 
you, Sora. I promise I will let you know when the, when the translation machine was on it. Was he translating a mysterious book? Would you have time to talk about it? Something odd has happened. I'll listen. The translation machine did translate the mysterious book. At least enough for me to realize the book is actually a journal. Written by someone called Dreamlight Valley's best mystery solver? We need to find out who that is. Yes, I think so too. I've asked, the, no, see, but no one here seems to remember who that villager was. Does the journal contain any clues of who it might be? I'm not sure. There are some pages that I can't read. It's as if the words are shifting. I was wondering if you could take a look at one of them. Of course. Here. I hope we can talk again soon. It's like a flood of memories just came rushing back. I remember something about an object that below the water near some ruins. People trying and, for and failing to retrieve it. Your memories are coming back. That's great. It helps us. You think so? I hope that's true. Perhaps whatever was lost below the water is still there. I'll try to find a spawn of fish there. If I find anything, maybe it'll hold the next clue to figuring out who this mystery solver was. That would be wonderful. Remember, it fell into the water near some ruins. Oh, this is wonderful. What am I looking for? You said you tried to find the object I remembered. It's lost in the water near some ruins. Thank you. <laughs> I remember this. Someone was helping the mystery solver and then they dropped their hat in the water. There was even a fishy competition among the villagers to try and get it back, but no one could. I'm ready for the next step in our investigation. So am I, Inky Sora. The hat triggered another memory. A board with information pinned in it to it in a room where we would go to discuss. <laughs> Mysteries? Where could it be? Ah. Hmm. It wasn't inside anyone's house because everyone could come and go easily. But it was definitely inside a building. I'll find this a serious board. just came back to me. The mystery solver. It's me! Uh. After I'd helped my friends solve a few puzzles, Minnie announced to everyone that I was the best mystery solver in the valley. And she gave me a journal no, we see, with that written on it. That's so I can make notes on my adventure. Oh, 
And I had a spot in my house where I did research and wrote. I wonder what happens to all that stuff. You're right. It's not there anymore. Oh, I'd love to create a spot like that again. I think that could be arranged. I could always order part of it for Mr. McDuck, and maybe the Beast would like to help. <laughs> oh, Inky Sora, that would be wonderful. Oh, what a wonderful day for an adventure. Good day, dear. Hi, hello. Hello. Hey, Beast. Did you know that Belle was the best mystery solver in Dreamlight Valley? <sighs> that does sound familiar. I want to help her set up a place in your house again. Somewhere she can play in her next adventure. Can you help me? For Belle. For Belle? Of course. I'd do anything. I was waiting for the right moment to give her this. But here, take it. Sora, this is too much. I can never thank you enough. I'm just happy you're happy. I am. I'm very happy. Here, I want to put everything in place. There, everything fits perfectly. You know what's missing from this occasion? No? What do you suggest? Let's use my camera to paint a quick magical portrait to get her in your house and remember this momentous occasion in the history of the valley. I'd like that, Inky Sora. Thank you. Oh, this is wonderful. Sora, thank you for all your help. I remember everything now. Being the mystery solver with you before the forgetting. And I remember writing this journal with you. We used a secret language so no one could read it except us. That was your idea, wasn't it? I remember now. That's wonderful. Thank you again, Inky Sora. Now I'm going to take some time to see to reacquaint myself with all of this. I'll tell you if I, if I find anything interesting. That's wonderful. 